If someone got their hands on your iPhone right now, how much damage could they do? Access to your email, photos, bank accounts. Scary, right? It's reported that 1.4 million mobile phones were stolen across the US just in 2023. In this video, I'm showing you 10 essential iPhone settings that you need to turn on today to protect your privacy and keep your data safe. Let's get started. Let's start with the basics two-factor authentication. It's like a second key to your digital house. Even if someone has your password, they can't get in without the code. When enabled, it sends a code to your trust device, like another MacBook or your Apple Watch, so they can't log in without you. To enable this feature, you go to settings, hit your name to open your iCloud account, sign in and security, and two-factor authentication. This one is a lifesaver. If your phone ever gets lost or stolen, Find My lets you track it, lock it, or even wipe it remotely. Also turn on Send Last Location. It gives you a final ping before the battery dies. Let's go to Settings, your name again, Find My, and Find My iPhone to enable this feature. This one is one of my favorites. Let's turn on Stolen Device Protection. The 2FA must be enabled on your Apple account for this one to work. You will also need Find My Turn It On and you won't be able to turn it off while the stolen device protection is activated. It will add an extra security layer to your iPhone when you are away from your familiar place, like your home or your work. You might have to wait an hour to change critical security settings, such as change your Apple account password, erase all settings, etc. For this one, we go to settings, Face ID and passcode. Stolen device protection to turn it on. By default, a lot of stuff is accessible from the lock screen. Your wallet, control center, even Siri. That's risky. Let's head to Face ID and Passcode to toggle off anything that's sensitive. Go to Settings, Face ID and Passcode, Allow access when locked. And you toggle off all the applications that you don't want it to be accessed on your lock screen. I don't know about you, but I have a feeling that my phone is listening to all my conversations. That's app tracking. Apple now gives you control. Just flip the switch and stop apps from stalking your every move. Go to settings. Privacy and security. Tracking and toggle off everything. If you are still using 1111, or your birthday as your passcode, come on, use a six digit code as minimum or better, a custom passphrase and face ID, of course. Go to settings, face ID and passcode, enter your passcode to unlock it, scroll down, change passcode, enter your passcode again, and then there is an option below passcode options and then you select custom alphanumeric code and your new passcode twice and save it. This one should already be enabled on your cell phone but let's confirm. Let's turn on automatic updates. Most iOS updates include security patches so if you don't have an update you basically are leaving the door open. So head to settings, general, software update, automatic updates and turn it on. Your cell phone will do the updates at night. Limit location access. Does your flashlight app really need your location? Set most to while using and turn off precise location when it's not necessary. To enable it, let's go to settings, privacy and security and location services. And then you can review all the apps that have access to your location and you can disable it. Out of view is convenient, 
but it's not for every device that you have. If you are sharing an iPad or use a work phone, turn it off and keep your account safe. Let's go to settings, general, autofill and passwords, and then turn off autofill passwords and pass keys. Now let's review apps permissions. Some apps ask for the world and they don't need it. Go through your permissions and shut down the extras. If they don't need your microphone, they don't get your microphone. That's it. Go to settings, privacy and security, and then review all the options that you have. For example, if you go to camera, you're gonna see all the apps that have access to your camera. Go to microphone and review the apps as well, and so on. The bonus one, if you have iCloud Plus, this is a must. It's like a built-in VPN for your Safari. It hides your IP and keeps your browsing private, even from Apple. To enable the private relay, go to settings, your name, iCloud, and then select private relay. If you found even one of these tips helpful, give it a like. Drop a comment with the settings that you didn't know about. And if you want more secure tips like this, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.